Hi, welcome. My name is Megan and I'm one of the museum educators here at the Australian National Maritime Museum. Welcome to Sea Monsters, Prehistoric Ocean Predators. Now in this exhibition, we have lots of amazing fossils of the most fearsome and amazing animals that lived millions of years ago. We know about these animals because of fossils. Fossils like this are made of rock. An animal dies, falls to the bottom of the ocean and is covered with lots of dirt and sand and mud, which then over thousands and thousands of years turns into rock and the bones themselves turn into rocks as well. Now, because rock is super heavy, most of the things we have in this exhibition are replicas or copies. And this allows us to see fossils from all around the world. This particular fossil is a fossil of a fish. We normally don't think of fish as being too fierce, but you can see here, it has actually eaten a smaller fish. All of these animals were predators, which means they were carnivores and ate other animals. And I would not have liked to have gone swimming with this guy. So the really important thing to note is that these sea monsters are not dinosaurs. They lived at the same time as dinosaurs. They were reptiles just like dinosaurs, but their legs actually come out the side of their bodies. Whereas dinosaurs, their legs come out directly beneath their bodies. Sea monsters had three different categories and the earliest to evolve was ichthyosaurs. This is a replica of an ichthyosaur fossil. And it's really fascinating because in the past we created um, copies or casts of fossils um, by actually using old fashioned type of techniques. But this was actually 3D printed here in Australia after the museum in Germany actually took thousands and thousands and thousands of photos, used the um, very advanced computer systems and a process called photogrammetry to actually make a 3D model that we could then create here. And it even feels like rock. It's been 3D printed to feel like rock. Now, this fossil of an ichthyosaur shows something really, really interesting. It shows that they gave birth to live young. Well, we can see here one of the baby ichthyosaurs coming out tail first. So as soon as it's born, it can go up to the surface and take its first breath of air. This is just like modern day dolphins do, because reptiles and mammals both have to breathe air. And ichthyosaurs came in many different shapes and sizes, lots of different species. This big guy here, he could grow up to over 20 meters long. They were the largest of our sea monsters to survive in the Triassic period. That means these guys were alive about 200 million years ago. You'll notice that this ichthyosaur doesn't have any teeth. We think he probably used his very large tongue to actually suck in all of his food. That's things like squid and fish and eat like that. Other ichthyosaurs did have teeth. So they were different sizes, but what they all have is quite interesting eye bones because their eyes were so big and had to be able to withstand the pressure of moving through the water. They actually had bones inside their eyes to actually help support them, which actually makes them look quite interesting once we have our fossils here. So while our ichthyosaurs evolved in the start of the Triassic, these guys, plesiosaurs, evolved in the mid-Triassic. They could have either had big heads and small necks, or like this guy has a small head and a really, really, really long neck. He has more vertebrae than any other animal ever. Now, a vertebrae is actually the bones on the back of your neck that you'll be able to feel. They go all the way from your head down to your bottom. We can also have a look at his flippers. Now, plesiosaurs are really interesting because they swim in a way that no other animal does. Think like a turtle or a penguin, but whereas those animals use all only their front two flippers, our plesiosaur uses all four. These fossils can be found all around the world and even here in Australia, just like Penny. Penny is almost complete, which means she has pretty much every single bone. And this tells paleontologists lots about these animals that lived millions of years ago. And now we're coming to my absolute favorite. 100 million years after our ichthyosaurs and pleosaurs, we came to the mosasaurs. Now, mosasaurs were absolutely ferocious. You can see its big teeth there. Really big animal would have swum like a crocodile and had these massive flippers, which are actually really like a whale. They have the bones like our hand, 
but covered in skin to allow them to move through the water. Have a look at this, it's massive. This is a Tylosaurus tooth, a type of Mosasaur, who became an absolute film star after appearing in Jurassic World. Now, Tylosaurus and other Mosasaurs not only had teeth like we do, they also had extra teeth in the roof of their mouth, just like a snake. They could eat basically anything they wanted, even smaller Mosasaurs. Ichthyosaurs, Pleosaurs and Mosasaurs weren't the only giants swimming the seas at the time of the dinosaurs. Look at this head here. We had giant turtles which grew over three metres long. Have a look how it absolutely dwarfs our gentlemen here. Just imagine swimming in the oceans with one of these giants. These ancient marine reptiles were discovered before even a single dinosaur bone had been found. But giants of the seas still exist today. The blue whale is the largest animal to have ever lived. Thank you so much for joining us here today and we look forward to seeing you next time.